Some of the use cases that AI is transforming within capital markets are around front and back office. So let me walk you through step by step. We look at front office within capital markets, the ability to identify how a company is performing, the ability to identify alpha in the market is an area where AI is starting to play a very significant role. And that's because traditionally, if you look at funds that have been very successful, they've done it in one of a few different ways, through either macroeconomic bets at scale or through the ability to take data and turn it into something very actionable. A lot of your quant shops do a great job of that. What AI is enabling is that at a scale we've never seen before. The ability to take thousands of different variables and different data points and use that to identify how companies perform. To make it very real and explicit, in the retail world, being able to take transaction data and individual level data and extrapolate from that how a company's performing on a day-by-day -day basis compared to their peers, compared to their competitors, allows us to actually see oftentimes before the companies know it themselves, who's going to be performing well and who's going to be performing poorly. So it's providing us with transparency into company performance that we've never had before. If you look at risk management, the ability to actually use deep learning platforms to analyze what is likely to happen, what are the risks out there, what are the knock-on impacts associated with specific events that could occur. This is an area where AI is really up in the game quite a bit and I believe creating better results for firms and funds and frankly a more safe financial services ecosystem for all of us. And when you go to back office, I think artificial intelligence is doing a tremendous job at enabling the performance of tasks by machine versus by humans with less failure, dramatically faster turnaround speed, and better outcomes all around so that instead of a very substantial portion of OPEX going into back office, it's now becoming just a very clean, efficient part of an organization.